feel the waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Can't make calls collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you My channel. Today's lookbook was all about skinny jeans because I've gotten quite a few requests over the past few weeks to style skinny jeans. I thought I would go about this by just kind of styling it how I would style it for different occasions. So that is what I did. My first outfit I started with my Mountain Bow high rise jeans, and these are the Bond jeans. They're just plain black high-waisted, they're super stretchy, and they just hug you in all of the right places. And I've actually worn them for a couple of days in a row. No stretching, I mean, they're just the exact size than when I put them on the first time, so that's always a plus for me. I actually have a pair of frame jeans that I got when I was working for Intermix, and they were about $240. I mean, I can't tell the difference between the two. These are so comparable, except these are $100 versus $240. I'm so glad to have replaced my old Urban Outfitters, ones that I wear all the time, so I have a new pair. <laughs> so you guys will be seeing these in a lot of my How to Style videos. I just kind of wanted to tell you guys about their at-home try-on program. So, and I actually had to do this myself. So what you can do is actually order one size, pay for it, and then you get a second size to actually try on without paying for it. And then you get to choose which size works out. So, so easy. So what I did was they sent me a 24 and a 25. Um, I sent the 24 back, kept the 25. That easy. You can actually try it on at home and make sure that you're getting the size you want without having to pay for two pair and then you know, return one, it's just so much easier. And you get a shipping label, which is always, my printer is always out of ink, so I can never print out shipping labels. So you get a shipping label, pack it up, send it out, 
all good. For the top, I actually started with this white button down and then I layered the sweater over it. Didn't pull out the collar because I really wanted to give the sleeve the most attention. So the collar stayed in, actually pulled the white sleeve out of the sweater. I used to kind of pull the collar out, but then there was always something about it that just kind of bothered me. I was like, doesn't look too like preppy or like school girl. I don't know, something about it just bugged me. So I've been actually wearing my sleeve out instead of my collar and I'm actually like thinking, okay, that's what it needed. It needed a sleeve, not a collar. So uh, that's what I did for the top. And I don't have my leopard coat with me right now. I think I put it back in the coat closet but I added the leopard coat just to give it some sort of print because it was very, you know, basic camel white black. So I wanted to add a printed coat and a printed bag. And to really top off the outfit, I did my metallic gold loafers. And I thought that this was just like, I don't know, I love adding a cool shoe to kind of a more conservative put together outfit. I think adding a fun, you know, kind of masculine shoe really makes the outfit a little different and a little cooler. So. Did this guy I just they're so light I love them so much so if you guys are looking for a cool shoe but yet still comfortable these are good and I think these are under a hundred dollars so it's always a plus for outfit number two I did these high-waisted gray blowout knee jeans from Zara and I don't know I I've had these for so long they're kind of my go-to dark gray jean um i like the way they fit they're very snug very secure and i like how they have a ripped hem on the bottom and then to keep it kind of simple and casual i just did my lulu's distress tee this has like been my go-to t-shirt for um a few weeks now it's just so comfortable and i love how the rips aren't so big they're very small so i think the rip placement is so great on this shirt now for my coat i did my forever 21 cropped faux fur and I haven't worn this yet. I've worn it, um, actually I've worn it a couple of times, but for the length of time that I've had this, I really need to start wearing it because I love it, I just never grab it. I think this is such a cool coat and I really wanted to dress down this outfit and then add kind of a dramatic faux fur coat. So that's why I did basic jeans, basic tee, super cool coat. And then for the kind of more masculine effect, like my first outfit, I did this chunky loafer from Aldo. And these are very heavy. <laughs> Unlike the Steve Madden ones, these are like super heavy. And they're actually, I feel myself kind of clunking like a horse whenever I walk. I'm like, blomp, 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 blomp. Brian's like, can you pick up your feet? I'm like, I can't because they're heavy. So for my next outfit, I did the Mountain Bow denim again because I wanted to show you guys what the high-waisted effect looked like on these jeans. So I wanted to show you the first outfit was just, you know, you could really see the leg and the skinny of the jean, but this gives you more of what the high waist looks like. So I did my Mott and Bow Bond jeans. Then I added my Feelin' It tee from H&M. I'm laughing so hard because all of my, you know what, I'm just gonna show you guys how crazy my Life by Her Facebook group is. We're all nuts over this t-shirt. I don't know what happened, but um, you know, some kind of like, crazy wildfire effect went into effect with this t-shirt. So I'm gonna scroll through and show you guys how crazy we are. One person got it and then everyone started getting it and it just became like a running joke that we all needed to like take a group photo and our feeling it tees. I don't know, it's kind of a cool thing. It's like a Life by Her Club t-shirt. <laughs> Then I did my usual leather jacket with my faux fur vest over it. So I did my red le leather, le my red faux leather jacket, and then I did my black faux fur vest over it. So you could really get the effect of a layered look, but still have you know like your sleeve popping out. And I don't know, you guys who who've been watching my videos for a while know that I love layering a vest over a jacket. So did this. Then I did this um, red leather ankle booty from um, Zara. I bought these on Poshmark and they are just a size too small. These are a size five. I found my size, I found a size six, but um, I'm reselling these on Poshmark. If any of you tiny size five feet people want to buy these, you can go over to my Poshmark and check it out. I'll put the link down below. So yeah these because I just think these are so cool. I love a good, obviously I'm like loving red right now, so had to add these. And then I did my hat because I don't know, 
I just thought it looked it looked good. It kind of like topped it off. When I was done getting dressed, I was like, I need something extra. What is it? Not a beanie. I added a hat and I was like, that's what it is. So I added the hat. For my last outfit, I did these high-waisted white jeans with, actually, they didn't come like this. I actually cut these with scissors, so. <laughs> I do that sometimes. When I have no patience to take it to the tailor, I'm like, I'll just get the scissors out and do it myself. So I did these, and these are by CP Jeans. I don't know where I got these or when I got these, but I got these. I love white jeans in the winter. I think it's so pretty, especially when you're doing like a winter white or like a black and white kind of color block look. So started with these. Then I did my oversized black sweater with my faux fur shearling and faux leather vest over it. Um, again, adding a vest over something, always do that. I just think it's such a good layering look when you don't want to look too puffy. Um, you just add a vest over it and it still gives you a layered look without actually being so layered. It's also good for people who were in a little bit of warmer weather. You know, that way you're not sweating but you're still looking layered. <laughs> so I did this and then I added this scarf over it. Cause I love red right now. I mean, can you even tell what's happening right here? Or am I just doing this for nothing? This is looking a little crazy. I just really wanted more of like a super casual, cozy, big scarf, kind of flowing in the wind type look. So that's what I was going for with this. I did these ankle booties, which I've had forever. They've got some like denim transfer up here. I just need to get them cleaned. They did these because I thought they tightened the scarf really well. Um, and they weren't too harsh up against the white jean. So that's for that look. That is it for this lookbook. I'm pretty sure I covered everything, but I'll just let you guys know my lipstick I'm wearing is Stila. I found this in my makeup bag, I mean my lipstick bag, and I was like, oh, hey, I like you. Um, the color is Beso, number 10. It's really cool, it's like this liquid, but then it turns to matte. So that's pretty cool. I like this. Good find in my own makeup drawer. And I am wearing the Mountain Bow jeans. I think these are called the Olivia. It's really nice blue, nice and stretchy. Super, super comfy. I love the color. And then the top I am wearing is a coming soon to life by her representing. I love this. You guys know I'm loving red and embroidery and stripes. So this is like totally happening for me right now. Um, so yeah, coming soon to Life by Her. And by coming soon, I mean coming very soon, so stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated through videos and vlogs and whatnot. Um, and speaking of Life by Her, go sign up for the lookbook. Um, so much going on right now. Updated, new look for the lookbook. It's gonna be so good, starting in February. Um, basically, a whole month's worth of outfit. Basically looks like a magazine, except it's in your phone and you get shopping links and cool videos and a cool Facebook group. So come join us and then sign up for the Facebook group afterwards and stay tuned for this t-shirt. Cool things to come with that and that is it. That is all I have for you. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh. It really is. Hi. Say hi. hi. What's your name? Brandon. Danny and Brandon? Yeah. Uh, you guys single? Yeah. There's lots of chicks to watch this. Yeah. I'm gonna send all the ladies your way, okay? Alright. All right. So the girl that's helping us.